Hi everyone, this is Lovecraft Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing three more days in my April junk journal. I'm doing day 11, 12, and 13. That means they're going to each have double pages. Um, I'm hoping that I have some things to put together. Um, they might be a, a work in progress if I don't have much going on on the opposite side of where the card's going, just in case I'm not quite sure of what I want to put there. But if I do um, have an idea later on in another uh, video and I want to add it, I might just go ahead and do that in that one video. But again, I don't know. All I have right now ready are the cards for the three days, but I have not decided on what I want to do on the opposite side. So I'm going to go ahead and look out to see if I find paper or, of course, washi tape, any type of inspiration to go with the card. The card to be my inspiration, uh, pretty much that's what I go with is the card um, and uh, what it has and see if I have something that would be that would go with it. Um, like I said before in my other videos, I don't have a lot to go with with what I have. Um, but I'm going to have to repeat some things, which is no big deal for me. Uh, but I wanted you to guys to know my whole goal too is to use up everything I have that I bought for um, this season. So if you see multiple chicks or bunnies that I make over and over again, just know that I just want to be done with it. I don't want to keep saving it for another time. Um, I think the best thing for me is to use everything so that if I do it again next year, I can buy and use new things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Get everything prepped and so continue to watch to see what I come up with for the next three days.
So let's go over the three days I put together in my junk journal. So for day 11, um, I thought this was kind of cute. This card is so cute. I actually just found this at Trader Joe's and I couldn't pass up the card. I had to bring it home. It was so cute and different and only cost 99 cents. So I, I was still in my dollar range for cards. I just couldn't help myself. Even though I do have, uh, I mean, I did buy car cards exact the amount that I needed but on occasion I tend to do get a couple of extras because sometimes the cards I get I at the time I think is cute but then when it comes to actually using them sometimes I'm not really too keen on them so there's a couple of cards that I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be using it but if I don't no matter I already have replacements as you can see I have this new card now for the side over here I decided just to go with decoration now as you saw I was actually making these Easter eggs. I thought they were so cute. Um, I actually got a whole pack. Um, there's a bunch of different colors I can show you. Um, I have all these colors of eggs and I have a bunch of stuff to use for them. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to decorate the eggs. So this is about little chicks um, and then I'm thinking the background with the little chicks on it too. So that's kind of where I went with this but I think it's super cute. Now as for the inside, I mean can I just say how cute is this? This card is just cute everywhere. So luckily I have all this space for journaling. Um, I don't have the numbers for this day. So when I do get them, I'll put them at the corner. But I wanted to keep it simple. But I really like this one so much fun. And so we're going to go on to the next page. So for day 12, I'm going to go ahead and move that there. Okay, this one was so cute. Let me just put this clip down so I can keep it from going up. Okay, for this one... Oh my goodness, this is super cute. Now, I bought this at Daiso. It came with two cards, so I will be using the other one. This one, I'm going to leave it just the way it is, where you can um, open and see, like, you can close his face, and it's, like, grabbing his little um, carrot. Um, the other one that I have, I'll use it in another spread, but I might, I might actually cover this, so I can do, like, a little journal writing inside but for this one, I wanted to keep it just the way it was um and this card is super cute as well I really like this card inside it just has this of course as you know if I want to cover that I will want to get to that date to do journaling but I wanted to keep it just you know about the same um easter eggs in the background just because this is a pink bunny and actually the pink bunny was going to pop up from this background which I love and this cute bunny with the little chicks is super cute as well so I love love this one I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page. Just bring that down. And then for day 13, um, I wanted to keep it, you know, simple again. So on this side, I did use one of these from Crafty Girl. It was in my sunshine kit. Um, I've been looking for a date to use with my um, uh, with my cards. And I keep forgetting to look at it. And I, the days were going by. I'm thinking, oh, well, I could have done it on the 4th. I could have done it on the 5th. And I was going to do the 11th, but the problem is I knew that if I put it in like this, it was going to cover the 11th. So I want to make sure any number that was above the first row, which would be good to have in my journal. But I wanted to use it sooner than later because I know I'm going to forget about it. And so when the 13th came, I thought, perfect. Um, I made this little area where it, it can go actually deeper in, but I don't want to. It's kind of snug enough so it won't like fall out. But I did add um, this to the background so I have a little place to journal. I got this in my, in my um, strawberry kit that I got from um, Crafty Girl. So I decided to go ahead and put it there. I was going to put like a, a little something to pull it out. But already as it is, it's easy to grab and pull out. So I thought just to keep it simple. I did put some cherry blossoms all around the empty spaces just to give it some color. And then for this card, I thought it was super cute. But this card here, um, I didn't do it on camera. I actually did it off camera because I wanted to see if it worked. But it actually says, Happy Easter Grandma. And all I did was I made my own clouds and I just covered it up so that... The grandma's gone, but I have the Happy Easter. And inside, it just has this here. Again, I might cover this up. Maybe I won't, but I used to have the space to journal. And I thought this was super cute. I kept the same washi tape all around, but I really love how this came out. It's super cute. Um, but overall, this is what I did for day uh, 11, 12, and 13. I think each one is super special and super cute. And I cannot wait to do the next two days. So hope you guys like this. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with the next um, junk journal in my April junk journal. Alright guys, until next time.